Hey guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Erin and today is book review Friday. I know I missed last week's book review but that's just because I really didn't feel like reading the last few weeks. I just couldn't get into it. It was like taking all my energy to read. It was just a long couple of weeks and I just didn't feel like reading. If you want to hear more about like what's going on and stuff like that I'll um, link my chit chat get ready with me in the down bar and it'll also be at the end of this video if you want to check it out. If you don't, all you have to know is I didn't upload last week a book review and this week I am. So today's book review is The Tent by Keelan Patrick Burke. Yes, I know the last few books have been by Keelan Patrick Burke. This is the second to last one. I only have one more book by him and then We'll be on to a new author. I actually only have two more books to read in total and then I'm gonna have to go book shopping because I don't have any more books right now. I've read almost all my horror books so if you have any suggestions please leave them in the comments down below because I'm always looking for new horror or non-horror. Um, I like romance. I like um, any type of fiction book really. I'm not into non-fiction that much and I'm not a huge fantasy person, so, you know, leave your uh, recommendations in the comments down below, and maybe I will check out the books. So, The Tent. Let's talk about the cover. It's obviously a soft touch matte, which you know I love. It's a very orangey, yellow, um, kind of like Halloween-y, if you will. Um, it just reminds me of, like, maybe Halloween or, like, fall basically and then there's a figure in the distance there's a tent obviously because it's called the tent you know I like it a lot and then on the back is a someone trying to escape the tent so intriguing let's read the back so it says the perfect getaway the perfect place to hide Hawking Hills, Ohio is an oasis for campers, hikers, nature enthusiasts, and for those who just want to get away and lose themselves in the wild. And as long as you follow your guide's advice and stay within the per permitted areas, you can expect to survive the night. Because deep within the dark woods, something insidious waits, something few have ever seen, something ancient, unknowable, and insatiable. If you go down to these woods today, you won't live to see the sunrise. So... First, let's talk about the fact that this takes place in Hawking Hills, Ohio. I'm actually from Ohio, and I've actually been to Hawking Hills, which is terrifying because now I never want to go there ever again. I don't live in Ohio anymore now, but it's kind of funny because I have been to Hawking Hills. I never camped there, so maybe that's why I don't really like, you know, think about it too much. But I'm actually not a camping fan. I hate camping. So any scary movies, scary books, scary stories that take place in the woods freak me out a lot because I hate camping. I don't like being outside at night. I don't like sleeping on the ground. I don't like, I don't, camping's just not for me. I went camping once. It was a long story. Hated it. Never want to do it again. Unless I'm like in a cabin. Then I'll go camping. I just don't want to like sleep in a tent. So that was the first interesting, I think, Thing I think about the book. Um, I just thought it was funny because I've been there. But um, two, this is a very um, creature feature type of book, if you will. It is like a monster. It's not like um, a ghost or like it's, it's a creature. So if you don't like monster type books or stuff like that, then this might not be up your alley. Um, I'm not actually huge into monsters. Um, that's like my least favorite type of horror is creatures. I just, <laughs> I don't think they're that scary to be honest. I just, maybe it's because I know that they're not real. So I'm just kind of like, who cares? Like, oh, a monster. Like, I know some people are like super like freaked by like creature features and stuff like that. It's just not my thing. Um, I do think they're well written most of the time. I think they're fun to read. I just don't like, it's not my top. I like paranormal, supernatural, murderer, serial killer kind of things, you know? So that's all I wanted to say for uh, that. So let's move on to the synopsis of the book. So 
it starts with this man in a cabin and his dog pepper and it's like it's nighttime and they're in this cabin in hawking hills obviously and the there's a storm going on and when like the dog starts acting kind of weird it's like acting strange it's like not the normal dog self so the guy decides that they're gonna go outside and investigate because this dog is acting weird and then like that section ends with them seeing like a glowing light in the distance and them going to investigate that then the next chapter begins with a couple and their son who are lost in the middle of the woods in a storm so these two are in the middle of a rocky marriage. They're trying to like piece it together. Um, they have like a ton of things going on. They're like in therapy and all this stuff. And they're trying to work through it. And originally it was going to be like a couple's getaway. It was just supposed to be them two. They were supposed to, you know, work through their problems and, you know, get acquainted with each other better again. And she did not want to. So they had the son come with them. So it was like a family camping trip. And he got them lost because I think he didn't want to listen to the guide's directions on where to go. He was like, yeah, I know where to go, like, whatever. He got them, like, turned around. Um, I'm pretty sure he was only, like, a quarter of a mile off, though. They were pretty close to where they were supposed to go. They just couldn't see because it was storming and stuff like that. So, they're fighting and they're <laughs> arguing and all of a sudden the, the son... Uh, goes missing they can't find him and so they're like struggling to they're struggling to find him they're like well it's raining I can't see we don't know where we are how did he stumble away like whatever so they they decide that it's not good to go too far because if they go too far then he won't find his way back the son won't find his way back to them if he is lost and he just wandered off to like go to the bathroom or something like that. So they're not trying to wander too far, but they end up stumbling across this like light, like this glowing area and there's a tent there. And they're really excited because they're like, well, that means that like, you know, someone's here, maybe um, Cody the sun can find us and all this stuff. So they stay there. And I don't know if I want to give away the monster, but like, I just, okay, I'll just say they encounter the monster because I don't want to give it away. The monster is pretty imaginative. Like, honestly, I had no idea that it was coming when they went to the tent, like the little campsite that they found and the monster like appeared. I was kind of like, whoa, because it's not what you would expect. It's not like this like Godzilla-like thing comes out of the like woods. It's very... It's very, uh, I don't know how to put it. It kind of reminds me of, um, oh, what's it called? 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 Oh, SCPs. Have you ever heard of SCPs? Basically, SCPs are like, it's, it's, it's a fictional thing. You can go online and like research it, but SCPs are like these object, objects that are like unnatural. They like like there's an scp that's a staircase that um it looks like it goes on forever like it never ends so like it's a it's like a monster that's like an everyday object like there's one that's like a playground like a playground slide so it's like a monster but like it's like a normal object of everyday life and so it basically means that like the that people have to contain them or else they would pose a threat to like humans and stuff like that it's like it's like a it's all online like people i know markiplier here on youtube plays a game called like scp containment or something like that it's like it's very fascinating go and read it if you want like i don't know how to get into details i'm not very good at that kind of stuff i've only seen like a few people talk about it but it, you can go on like reddit and stuff like that and find stuff about it but Basically, it's basically like a, an SCP to me. Like, it's an object that you wouldn't think is a monster, but then it's like a monster. Like, it's it's not really like an object. It just is like, it's like posing as an object. Okay, I'll give you a hint. Basically, the tent is the monster, if you couldn't figure it out.
but like I'm not gonna tell you any more than that it's not an SCP it just reminds me of an SCP is what I'm trying to say if this makes any sense I don't want to confuse you like it's not an actual tent it's just like posing as a tent does that make any sense I think of SCPs because it kind of gives that like vibe it's not an SCP though it's not I'm just saying it reminds me of an SCP. <laughs> God, okay, I just probably made everybody confused. But anyways, they run into the monster and things happen. <laughs> it's very short, it's a very fast pace. I mean, this happens very quickly. People start dying, I mean, it's very fast. And the ending is a very strange to me. Like, I didn't see it coming, honestly. Like, I thought it was just kind of be like, a normal monster like a normal monster book like the monster comes out kills everybody goes back into hiding that's not what happens in this not at all and it's very interesting because this could have been like adding on like this could be a whole series like if you wanted to make it a series because of the way it ends it's a very um going in that continuing cycle like but i would say more than continuing it's a very it's like a spreading ending like the the anomaly is going to spread if that makes any sense oh my god i'm probably confusing everybody i'm sorry i'm trying to gather my thoughts but i feel like i lost you all with the scp thing but it just made sense when i was talking that it sounded like an scp but it's not an scp okay okay anyways so the ending is very interesting i will say this is not my favorite by him but like I said, I think it's really good. If you love creature features or things like that with monsters and stuff, I think you'll love this. I personally, it's not my favorite. Don't, I don't reach for that kind of stuff, but I think it was good. It's a very fast paced and a very short read. So, I mean, it's again, like 70 some pages. Let's see. No, 60, 60 pages. It's 60 pages. So, I mean, very short, very fast paced. So if you don't know if you're going to like it, you can pick it up. And read it and it's like oh not bad you know it was short if I didn't like it it wasn't like a waste of my time you know I do think it was very good it's a very unique idea and I very much enjoyed reading it it just wasn't my favorite by him I have to say sour candy is by far my favorite by him so far but I have one more book from him to read so I will hold off saying it's my favorite so far but I haven't I haven't read all of his books this is just the last one that I have to read so yeah uh, I feel like this was an all over the place um, review. I feel like I didn't actually tell you anything helpful at all. I'm sorry if I like was all over the place. It's a very to the point book. It's not a lot to like say unless I just wanted to give you like everything about it and like give you all the details and spoilers. But I try to keep my reviews spoiler friendly for the most part. Let me know if you read this book if you think it sounds really good or if you've read it and you hated it. I want to know your thoughts in the comments down below. Like I said, please give me your recommendations. I'm always open to reading new books. I need some. I'm running out. So please leave your comments in the comment section and please like, subscribe, comment if you enjoyed this video. Uh, I hope it wasn't too horrible for you guys to watch. I know it was crazy. I'm sorry. And yeah, um, I hope you guys come back to watch more videos and I will see you in my next one. Bye.